Hello guys, what's up? I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys and this time it's another Before It's Out video. If you guys don't know what Before It's Out is, basically it's a web series where we're taking a look at a Transformers toy before it gets released, so take everything with a grain of salt. In this video we are taking a look at Transformers Studio Series Deluxe Class Crankcase and as you can tell I am super excited for it. I'm very disappointed by it. Um, I know that people are going to say, well, you're disappointed in a Hasbro Takara figure, you know, that's not saying much. Yeah, but this is a different kind of dis uh, disappointment. Uh, this isn't the usual trend of, well, it doesn't look great, or something's got something wrong with it, like a tab, or some arm just looks off, or I don't know what else to say. Um, I just don't know what to make of this. Uh, take a look at his alt mode. You know, obviously it's the same suburban alt mode, so there's not really much else to say about it because they've done this two times already. They did it with Berserker and they did it with Crowbar. Now that's not a problem. I don't have an issue with that. In fact, I'm kind of happy with that. Uh, having three suburban alt modes that look the same compared to one another, I think, you know, that's a pretty cool idea. Um, and a very consistent look between those alt modes. So I do like that. Um, blue painted windows, I wish they were black, but the previous toys have that, so I'm not gonna complain too much about that. Uh, you also do have that great tab on the side, but again, these are mostly issues I have with the previous toys, so it's whatever. The robot mode is just crowbar painted without the red, Pretty much not in the Berserker colors, but more like he should be, I guess. But uh, the disappointing part about this is they have the mold to make a proper crankcase and they didn't do it. Instead, they repainted the remold that doesn't even look like crankcase. But yet the first one looks like crankcase. I don't know how they messed that up so badly. It just, it baffles me. I think, okay, the paint job is fine. I don't think it's bad. And, you know, if you miss out on Crowbar, I guess you could get this. But I don't get the point of it when this mold looks like Crankcase. In fact, in the movie, they pretty much just reused the crankcase design for this guy. So, why didn't the toy get the same treatment? This is pretty much crankcase in a nutshell. This is crankcase. They just re I come back. <laughs> they just called him a different name, I guess. And gave him some red. Something fell. This is stupid. I don't know how they did this. I'm sorry to vent. I really, I just, I don't get it. I really don't understand it. I'm sorry to just make a video of me complaining about a toy and just going, oh, fuck, I don't know, traumatic disappointment, wow. But how? Like, seriously, how? The only reason why I would get this is two reasons, okay? Number one, maybe I like the paint job better than the crowbar figure. So maybe I'll get it to replace crowbar. And two, maybe he could be another dread. Maybe he doesn't need to be crankcase. Maybe I could call him Billy Joe Bob. I don't know. It's stupid. I hate this. I hate this so much. Maybe the toy's not bad. I don't have the crowbar, but... How? I don't get it. With that out of the way, that's pretty much it. What do you guys think? Comment below. Let me know. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all those fun doodads. And I'll see you guys next time.